Decorating for fall brings with it a lot of options. Some of the most popular are pumpkins and gourds. You may have noticed the Care 11 backyard is all decked out with its gourds. We like to call it gorgeous out there. Today's Grow with Care, Laura and Bobby head to the Arboretum to show us how they're grown. We're here with John Toole, who is half the brains behind this awesome pumpkin patch. What do we have growing here? We've got basically almost 300 different varieties of pumpkins, gourds, and squash growing here right now. Yeah, but we're not talking run-of-the-mill kind of orange pumpkins. You've got everything I've ever seen before. Right, right. We've got basically every color that you could think of that they could be like reds and blues and greens with white stripes and everything. So we got a big variety. So and what do you do with them all? A lot of them will get taken over to the Arboretum for decoration and um, educational purposes, showing people the great diversity that pumpkins and squash can have. We also sell a lot of these through the Apple House. What's your trick to growing them? We wait for the best time to plant them. Everything is sown directly into the ground. We, put, we, we literally just put seeds into the ground, but you wanna wait until optimal temperatures of soil. Um, so we wait till kind of the beginning of June, and you really wanna have room. If you are gonna grow some of these sprawly ones, you need to have nice room, lots of sun. So when you go to, to you know, the Apple House and buy some of these and you're taking them home to decorate, what are your tips? To help them last, you can do a couple things to keep the squirrels off of them. My wife, Jenny, she likes to either put, put a little bit of an oil, olive oil glaze over them with a little bit of a pepper sprinkle, cayenne pepper. If you really wanna store a squash for a long, long time, keep it off of the concrete. Um, you can put it on shelving or even on wood with maybe a towel under it or something, but don't let it get wet. Keep it dry as possible and that should preserve it as, um, you know, up to many, many months. Everything at some point in its life is edible. The varieties that you really want to go for are like the deeply red colors. They're always going to be really, really great, flavorful, nice squash varieties. Good to know. Well, the Como Zoo has a new resident. The baby giraffe was born Tuesday and stands five feet, <laughs> eight inches tall and weighs 120 pounds. She doesn't have a name yet, but will make her public debut next week. She's gorgeous. Oh, wait, did you just say gorgeous? No, I said gorgeous, oh, okay. but you said gorgeous. I did. <laughs> we'll be right back. It is gorgeous out there. <laughs> 